ball. I'm giving you room. Big. Well, yeah. Kind of got. Kind of got. There you go. That's all you get. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our 2023 Softball Senior Day. Um, we will today be honoring six seniors of Hopkins Academy, and um, we always begin with me speaking about each of the players, and then, as you know, it's tradition for the players to speak about the seniors. So, luckily enough, this year we had six additional players, one player who could write a speech and speak about each senior player. So when I begin uh, the speeches, I'm gonna ask that the senior will step forward and any family and friends who are there for this or are here for the senior could please come forward as well. So I would like to begin by, uh, I would like to begin by saying this is the nicest group of seniors and the largest group of seniors that I've ever had the pleasure of coaching. Every year I am saddened to write this speech as I begin to think about what the team will be like without their presence next year. Having six seniors on this team has been a wonderful experience. I have had the pleasure of coaching many of them for as, met, as many as six years. I would like to say a little bit about each player before their teammates give their speech. And as I call up the seniors again, I ask parents and family to join them. First up is Brooke Rashawn. Step forward. Can her family please join her? Brooke has been on varsity. Hold on. Brookie? Perfect. Brooke has been on varsity since the 10th grade. On JV, she played a great second base, but I was able to see her potential, potential as an outfielder up on varsity. Brooke comes to practice each day and has worked incredibly hard to develop her skills in the offseason as a player. A highlight for me was when she hit really well last year in our Lee tournament game, and her hits pushed us ahead, and we actually won that game. She always hits the ball, and she really came through for this team in that game in particular. I asked each player to provide a favorite memory of their time playing for Hopkins softball. Brooke's favorite memory was one day at practice, the team decided to listen to country music which was a Carrie Underwood song, and it came on, and everybody got into a circle and unplanned just began to sing the song. She said that it feels like it shows how well the entire team gets along. Another favorite memory was when she said Miss Lord came up to her at practice while she was wearing some sunglasses and said to her in a very strange voice, those are a statement piece. Next year, she will attend Marist, and she will study environmental science. We want to wish you the best of luck as you pursue your dreams. We know you will accomplish anything that you put your mind to, Brooke. Good. Great job. Next up is Daisy, Daisy Venditti. Daisy, Daisy joined varsity in the 11th grade as our scorekeeper. She came to practices and listened and wanted to learn all that she could. Her previous two years, she had suffered injuries that prevented her from being able to play softball, but she became involved in the ways in which she could. This year was her first full year on varsity, and she became a starter with hard work and dedication. Through this hard work, she quickly developed one of the best on-base percentages on this team which I think is very noteworthy. Daisy always goes above and beyond, and that's what makes her a very unique player. When I asked Daisy what her favorite memory was about softball, she told me that singing to music in the back of the bus to away games was always her favorite thing, and she always brings a speaker, so thank God she enjoys that. She said that singing on the bus with this group has bonded her with this team forever, and that they have an awful lot of laughs in the back of the bus on the way to away games. I don't know what they do back there, but there's a lot of laughs. Next year, Daisy will go on to UMass, where she will study nursing as a major. You have chosen a profession that really, really suits you. 
the compassion and care that you give will go on, you will go on to give to others and you're going to make a wonderful nurse we will miss you dearly next year on this field daisy Next up is Kaylin Zakaitis. Family and friends join. Here, Kay. Me first, then them. <laughs> Kaylin began varsity in the seventh grade. I could see that she was a hardworking pitcher. I could see that softball was a game that was truly in her heart. It was a passion that she shared with her father. She plays year-round for Valley Storm and works hard on her craft. I remember her pitching in her first varsity game in the seventh grade against Franklin County Tech. In true Kalen form, she came and got several strikeouts after first always drinking an energy drink before every game. She has led this team on the mound this year along with Cassie and they share a really special bond from pitcher to pitcher. When I asked Kaylin what her favorite memory was, obviously she told me it was celebrating her 200th strikeout in the Pioneer game this year. And of course, that's who we're playing today. Wink, wink. Um, so she was glad that her family was there to celebrate that moment with her. I am proud that she was able to reach her goal of 200 strikeouts. Next year, she will study sports management at Elms College. She will go on to play college softball for Elms next year as well. We will miss you next year, but we look forward to following your career at Elms. Maybe our team can go watch you play on the new turf at Cheryl Condon Field. Good job, Kaylin. Can Taylor's family please join us? Taylor has been on varsity since the eighth grade. I remember taking her up to Mount Greylock for the very first time to come play third base during our first tournament appearance almost ever. She had not even practiced with our team before playing in that game. My starting infielder had, come into, uh, my starting infielder had to come in to catch as my catcher broke her tailbone the day before our tournament game. Taylor rose to the occasion and although new to that position for us, she did a great job and made several good plays. Taylor has been my captain for the past few years. She has always been a quiet leader, but many on this team respect her and value what she has to say. She loves the game of softball and plays it year round for the Western Mass Warriors. Next year, she will attend Wheaton College where she will go on to play college softball. You have made an impact on this team and in your position as a shortstop. You have turned countless double plays and your base running and sliding are always fun to watch on the sideline. Taylor's favorite memory, of course, is when we get to do the slip and slide each year for sliding practice. We take a tarp out and we put dish soap all over it. And of course, Taylor loves us because she's the master at sliding. Taylor, we hope to follow your career at Wheaton and we know that you will go on to do amazing things as you study political science. Best of luck, T-Bear. You know I had to squeeze that in. <laughs> Jesse, can Jesse and her parents or family please come forward? Shake off the water. Jesse, this is going to be a little bit harder to say goodbye to this kid. I have had a Markowski on my team for the past eight years. Jessie began playing for me in the seventh grade, and her sister Allie was on my team as well. Jessie and I have had a lot of laughs together through the years, and when I need something done, the first name I actually bark out is Jessie's, as she's the kind of captain that is a get, get things done kind of captain. Jessie is fully aware of this, and she takes it really well. She's a true leader, and she plays with all heart. Jessie had big shoes to fill when both she and her sister played for me. Jessie has proven herself to be a great first baseman, and there is no one else I would want to see. Hold on, I've got to turn the page. <laughs> and there is no one else I would want to see on first base. Jessie's favorite memory was when she was in the seventh grade, and again, we went to tournament for the first time. The team had a pool party at Kelsey Bushy's house. Kelsey Bushy was gracious in hosting the pool party for her house, but Jessie was really young, and there were seniors on this team. 
She loved being young, as she said, and getting to hang out with the upperclassmen. She thought that was pretty cool. She also mentioned something about bathing suits, something about a bathing suit issue in the bathroom during that event. I don't really know what it was, and I don't really want to know what it was. But next year, she will attend Marist College, and she will study fashion merchandising, and she will minor in business administration. I will miss your smile, and first base will never be the same without you. Best of luck, Jessie Lou. Can Izzy's parents and family please join me? <laughs> this is another one whose sister was on the team simultaneously. Izzy began her career on varsity in the seventh grade. She's another player who played on my team at the same time as her older sister. These were big shoes to fill. I remember calling Izzy up to come for her first varsity game. We were playing Smith Academy, and we were short players. We asked her to come up and play outfield for us. During the game, a ball was hit to her, and in true Izzy fashion, she made a leaping catch for the ball in center field. It was then that I knew that her speed made her an asset to me in the outfield. Izzy can be pretty quiet on the team, but when she speaks up, you know it's something important. She was a great captain both on and off this field. Izzy's favorite memory of softball had to do with that game as well. She told me that after the game, the seniors took her on the bus and they made a special handshake with them, and she couldn't believe that they actually were going to include a seventh grader in on this handshake. She loved it, and she began her love of softball right then and there. She also told me that she remembers how the team laughed um, one time when I went to the back of the bus one game and was dancing with them in the back of the bus to some music. Apparently, we have a lot of fun times on the back of our bus rides. Next year, Izzy will attend Marist College, where she will study fashion merchandising. I will forever remember that on Wednesdays, we wear pink because of Izzy. We wish you the best at Marist. <laughs> Hurry up, Gabs. <laughs> Get a pick. Nice. So before I let my girls speak, I would like to give special thanks to several of my senior parents who have done some special things for me throughout the years. I would like to give a special thank you to um, Rick Pomazano, who has done the book for me for the past few years. Rick, I appreciate all that you have done to help this team, and your help has not gone unnoticed or unappreciated. Once again, thank you, Rick. I would also like to thank Steph Berry and Sarah Pomazano for the bench snacks that they provide for the players during and after each game. We appreciate it very much, and we definitely look forward to the cookies and the lollipops and all those other things. You both will be very missed as well. <laughs> Lastly, I want to extend a deep thank you to, and appreciation to Christine Markowski, who has taken countless softball photos for years and uploaded them to Facebook so that all parents can enjoy seeing their children in photographs. The pictures that she takes are priceless memories, and I know that myself and many others are going to miss you doing this. We appreciate you today and all you have done for this team. Let's give her a clap. And lastly, before I give it to uh, my players to speak about their teammates, Every year, the captains choose the following year's captains. I asked them to give me a reason why they want to choose this person, and this is what they have decided. So I let them choose two of the captains, and next year, I will name the third captain. The first captain that they chose unanimously was Cassidy Mashensky. <laughs> Cassidy, come on up. Cassidy will be our lone senior next year, but she brings the volume and she pumps up the team with her cheers before every practice and every game. Cassidy, you will be the voice as, a ca as this captain. <laughs> Please come get your band. Good job. The second captain that they have chosen unanimously again was Maggie Potter. They told me on the bench, no one cheers more than Maggie. She's always positive, supportive, and upbeat, and this is a great quality in a captain. Good job, and congratulations. 
Again, next year, a third captain will be chosen and named by me. Um, and we will miss every one of you seniors, but we will go on to continue our hard work even after you're gone. Thank you for a great season so far. And now, who would like to go first? I guess Madeley does. You guys, come closer now. Very long walk from there. Yeah. Um, go ahead, you're good. All right, hey folks. Uh, I'm gonna do a speech for Brooke. Um, my name's Madeley, if you guys didn't know. Uh, and I've had the grand pleasure of playing on this team with Brooke for the past few years. I'm so very grateful for the time I got to spend with her. Brooke is the kind of person who you can't help but look up to. Her energetic attitude, her amazing music taste, and the way she isn't afraid to stand up for herself or others. When she commits to something, she does her best to follow through with it, whether that's in softball, school, dance, clubs, and really just life in general. She is an amazing teammate and an amazing person overall. I appreciate and admire so much of what she stands for and the kind of person she truly is. Well, aside from the fact that she likes yellow starbursts because that scares me, Brooke. <laughs> The only thing I won't miss is those yellow Starburst wrappers in my pockets after every single game. <laughs> in all seriousness, I'm sure that we know, because we announced it, Brooke is going away to Maris next year for college. And I have zero doubt that whatever path you choose in life, you're going to do incredible things. And I'm sure Charles would be just as proud as I am. <laughs> Brooke, I love you. I'm going to miss you so, so much. Although I haven't known Daisy for a very long time, her play during this season has shown me what a lasso will be without her next year. This season was the first time she played since eighth grade, and how quickly you adapted to the game was amazing. You went from doing more of a face plant than a dive in the outfield <laughs> to consistently making plays and rarely committing errors. Your work ethic and dedication during practice could easily be seen through your play on the field. If our team is ever down, I know I can turn to Daisy and there will be a smile on her face. Your positive attitude towards the game and the players really made the team more welcoming and a happier place. You, your speaker, you and your speaker will be missed, <laughs> but I know <laughs> you will be successful at UMass, and because it's so close, maybe you can come down and see us sometimes. Izzy, I'm doing your speech. <laughs> I don't exactly remember the first time I met Izzy, but all I know is that we didn't talk very much because I was too scared to start a conversation with any of the high schoolers. I'm not sure why I was like this, because as soon as I actually talked to them, they were some of the most nice and welcoming people I've ever met before, especially Izzy. She was someone I had always look up, looked up to and still do, not just as a player, but as a person too. Whenever the team is having a rough game or feeling down, you can always find Izzy picking up the rest of us and encouraging that we do the same thing. Having this type of person on your team is amazing because you know that there will always be someone there to support you and have your back. But she doesn't just contribute to our team by picking us all up. She's a great player all around as well, clearly, because she's very close to her 100 hits. But it's not just Izzy's playing that is going to make us miss her so much. It's her personality. She's definitely one of the funniest people I've ever met, and whenever I'm around her, she always finds a way to make me and everyone else laugh. I'll never forget the little conversations we have in the outfield during timeouts or while we're fielding during practice or imitating the sounds of our bats. <laughs> All of these little memories don't seem like that big of a deal right now, but once you're gone, I know that they're going to feel huge. No one can ever replace your amazing playing or your lovable personality. Me and the rest of the team are going to miss you so much. Thank you for, so, for all of the ways you've impacted me throughout the years, and good luck with your future at Marist. Next. I've only known Kaylin for two years, but throughout that time, I've learned how strong, hardworking, and kind she is, not just as a teammate, but in life as well. I remember when I first joined the team last year. We were inside, and Kaylin and I got to pitch together. Even when I first met her, she made me feel welcome on the team. I was amazed by how well she could pitch and grateful for the tips she gave me along the way. I've noticed that Kaylin is always ready when we are playing games. 
She stays focused and works as hard as she can constantly. I know that she always tries to do as well as she can in all aspects of the game. I know that it's paid off because she has become one of the strongest players I know and hitting her 200 strikeouts. One of my favorite things about Kaylin is how encouraging she is. If something isn't going our way, she will always remind me not to overthink it and let it go. This reminder always helps me stay calm and do better. She's always, she also is always optimistic. If a game isn't going our way, Kaylin will be there to cheer for the next batter and encourage everyone to do better. Other than being an amazing teammate, I can always count on Kaylin to be a great friend. Throughout these past two years, Kaylin and I have become much closer. This may be caused by the fact that she has to drive me everywhere, but regardless of the reasoning, I'm glad we have. Every day I look forward to our drives home from school. I can almost always count on finding peanut butter pretzels or some other snack waiting in the back seat. Our afternoons in between school and practice often in include bagels, specific specifically tandem bagels. When we got ready, it was always very important that we were in our uniforms at least half an hour before warm-up start. These activities may seem simple, but to me they have become game day rituals and special memories from this softball season. Hanging out with Kaylin has shown me how much of a role model she can be. She's hardworking, persistent, and an amazing friend to everyone. I admire the time and effort Kaylin puts in that allows her to grow as a player. Her work ethic is truly remarkable. She also has taught me so much these past two seasons, and I feel lucky to be her teammate and be close to her. I can't, all, I can't imagine what it will be like next year without Kaylin. We will all miss her support, humor, effort, and skill on and off the field. Our team will truly miss her so much, and I'm not sure what I'll do without her next season. I hope you have an amazing first season at Elms next year, Kay, but you better stop and watch some of our games, too. Jesse. When I first joined the team three years ago, Jesse was the first one to welcome me. She made me feel comfortable and included in a new environment. From that point forward, she has shown me so much kindness that I will always remember. As a captain for two years, it's evident that Jesse is a natural born leader. She brings positive energy, jokes, and support to every game and practice. Jesse cheers all her teammates on in softball and in life. She always puts in 110% and leaves it all on the field. Throughout her softball career, Jessie has made many timely hits that have led to wins. She hits home runs effortlessly and has so much power behind the bat. Jessie has played an important role in our team's success, and I've enjoyed every moment playing beside her. As first baseman, she makes my bad throws look good and makes amazing plays on the field. Next year, I'm going to miss our first and second base duo and my throwing partner. Not only will the team and I miss her, but also my parents, as Jessie has been my ride for everything. Needless to say, next year will not be the same without Jessie. Jessie, I wish you the best of luck for the future, and I hope to one day help a younger teammate in the way you have helped me all these years. So I have Taylor. Taylor has been one of my closest friends and someone I've looked up to for a couple of years now. Although we may not have been close for very long, our friendship grew quickly and our bond is something unbreakable. Many memories have been made in the past years playing with her, like when I brought a Pop-Tart to practice and we shared it while fielding during batting practice. Taylor has a one-of-a-kind sense of humor and I have the honor of getting a front row seat every game in practice. Taylor and I play right next to each other as third baseman and shortstop, and I'm going to miss having her next to me when she leaves. If not for her saving my missed grounders, then for being able to listen to her talk to herself during games, as well as throwing rocks at the fence. I would like to warn her that I will be calling next year after every game to give her the play-by-play -play of what happened. I have always looked up to Taylor as a softball player. She shows that having a good work ethic and always doing her best can bring you a long way. I'm so proud of her for going to Wheaton and to continue her softball career and education, and I cannot wait to see what she accomplishes. I also just wanted to say a couple more things about each of our seniors. As the only junior on this team this year, I've come very close with each of these girls. There's not one year that I can remember when I did not share a team with at least two of them, and I'm sure they can't wait to get rid of me. Jesse, thank you for always catching even my most awful throws and for being such a great role model. Izzy, thank you for always backing me up in left field and displaying such a great work ethic. 
Daisy, thank you for all of the laughs this year and sh for showing everyone how hard work makes you go from being out on injury to a starting player. Kaylin, thank you for always being welcoming to me on any team and briefly becoming my personal chauffeur. Taylor, thank you for always giving me advice when asked for and all of the bio freeze. Brooke, thank you for being my best friend and for always being there for me. I cannot thank these girls enough for giving me the best softball team I could have asked for. Nicely done. Um, would parents like all the seniors come forward so that the parents can get a pick? 